I want to do a quick lesson on more about app use and middleware. So as mentioned, what we saw with body parser earlier, that what happens here is that this is gonna fire off before it goes into the routes. So we've got some parameters. So we've got our request, our response, and then we've got next that we can pass over. And we can uh, grab this, uh, these parameters and then we can make use of them. And we can also console log out a message here. So I'm in the middle. I should use double quotes for this one. So just to show you what happens here is every time I send a request, it's going to fire that I'm in the middle off. And what's happened, it's actually stuck on that I'm in the middle because we still need to pass over the next method. And this is going to allow it to continue processing through. So we see that now once we do this, every time we do the post, every time we do the get, we fire off the I'm in the middle function. So basically, we can see that this information, we can make use of it. And we can also output. So this is where we could also grab our body stuff. So if we're actually doing checking in a login or something like that. So before we get to the route, we want to check that body information and we can handle any of our logic at this point as well. And we'll just go back to the post and send it as a post. So we see there that we get the I'm in the middle and then it outputs that requested body information there and we can get rid of it over there as well. So there it is. So right now we're doing the I'm in the middle and then it's outputting the request body content. So we can grab the same parameters that we can within our routes, except over here, we can make use of it and we can do something else with it as well. And let's actually clean up our keys, our values here, because we don't need that. And we just need the body information. Now let's uh, clean these up as well. So we're passing this again, remember within the body. So we could have something like a username, I call it admin and password or something like that. And password. That's one of the best passwords to have as a password. And there we can see we've got those, those values that are being there. And this, this is where we can grab our username and see that we grab our username and we can also grab the password here as well at this point. So if we did have our check to make sure that if the password and the username are matching with some of the passwords and usernames that we have within our system, this is where we can handle that. So go ahead and try it out for yourself. And next lesson, we're going to continue to build out our REST API using Node and Postman and the terminal and all of these amazing packages that we've gone through.